How's it going guys? Brett Medlock here. Today I wanted to play Resident Evil 5 on the Nintendo Switch. Now if you didn't know this, there's actually a demo of Resident Evil 5 on the Australian eShop right now, but I'm sure it'll be on the American eShop any minute now. I just wanted to, I don't know, get a head start on uh, some previews for Resident Evil 5 and just give my thoughts on how the game is running on Switch. So as you can see, the game's opening up right now. I, just, I was just going to play through it a little bit with you guys. I'll probably skip around a little bit. I'm sure a lot of you have seen this opening already, so I'll just go ahead and skip to some gameplay. Actually, one thing I wanted to point out was whenever I was younger, I think this game came out whenever I was like, I don't know, 17 or something. I can't remember. I always thought this shot of Chris in the truck right here looked so good. And I don't know. It, it still looks good, I think. It, it just looked really realistic in my opinion. But anyway, let's fast forward to some gameplay. So I recently played this on PS4 actually, so I have a pretty fresh perspective, and this looks pretty good, you know, um, actually, something looks a little off maybe? I could be wrong, I can't quite put my finger on it, but something looks different about it, I think. <laughs> I don't know, um, it still looks good though, I mean it's running fine, everything's looking fine. This game got a lot of crap back in the day because it went almost completely away from horror. Actually pretty much completely away from horror, it's more action oriented. And, and the series started to go this way for a little bit until, I guess, Resident Evil 7. I mean, uh, Revelations was, was pretty scary, but uh, yeah, so a lot of people didn't like this game. I personally really liked it back in the day, and I still have fun with it whenever I play through it. I'm a big fan of the Resident Evil series, if you haven't been able to tell if you're subbed. I, I make a lot of Resident Evil videos, or I always mention Resident Evil 4, because that is my favorite game of all time. Now, Resident Evil 5 is pretty similar to Resident Evil 4, except they added the whole co-op element, which, unfortunately, I can't try out with this demo. Actually, you might be able to play co-op with the demo but I don't have anybody to play with because no one else has downloaded the game yet but anyway so far things are pretty much the exact same as the PS4 version I don't notice much of a downgrade I know that this was technically a PS3 game but this in my opinion looks closer to the PS4 version than the last gen version which which is a good thing I mean it's not going to look amazing either way because it was an Xbox 360 and PS3 game but hell for a portable game it's going to look fantastic and I might I might capture some portable gameplay and show it on the screen right now for you guys to see. I'll just edit that in and post. And I'm assuming it looks really great because when this game originally launched, it was aiming for realism. Those types of graphics tend to look better on a smaller screen when it comes to the Switch. So I'm going to probably skip everything I just did, jump straight to here to where you're first uh, using your weapons for the first time. But anyway, what I love about this game is the fact that you can upgrade your guns and unlock new guns with each playthrough. And I always loved that about Resident Evil 4. It was a, it was a decently long game. I mean, it was two discs on GameCube. And you still wanted to replay it as soon as you beat it every time because you could constantly upgrade your guns, get exclusive upgrades for each of your guns, and unlock new ones. Whether it was in the campaign or the mercenaries mode, you can unlock a gun or two. Actually, I think you could just unlock one gun in the mercenaries mode in Resident Evil 4. But yeah, with Resident Evil 4 and 5, they're so addicting to replay over and over because you can constantly upgrade your character. It's kind of like an RPG in that sense, where you feel more inclined to keep playing it because you constantly get stronger and stronger. That guy lunged toward me and I just took him out in one shot. Actually, he's not dead still. That's a lot of slices. Die! There we go. Anyway. As of right now, I'm not noticing any big differences with the Nintendo Switch version. Things are looking great and they feel just fine. Now, I'm also going to be doing a Resident Evil 6 video after this, and I'm curious to see how that looks on Switch because I always thought in some instances Resident Evil 5 actually looked better than 6. But to be fair, Resident Evil 6 did have a lot more like big action set pieces where they probably couldn't have as much detail in the environments as they wanted. Whereas this game, things stay semi-calm. I mean, there's still tons of action, but it's nothing like over the top, which was what Resident Evil 6 got criticized for. But I'll jump back into that later. Now, when it comes to the story of Resident Evil 5, I personally, I prefer like the smaller scale stories like Resident Evil 7 or Resident Evil 4. Like Resident Evil 4, your goal is to just go in, find the president's daughter and bring her out. That's, that's the story. And I like that because Leon got into stuff that he was not expecting and it just turned into this crazy roller coaster of madness pretty much and sometimes there was literally even roller coasters that you rode in Resident Evil 4 <laughs> but with Resident Evil 5 it's more like let's save the world stuff and I honestly don't really like that that much every time I jump down into this hole in Resident Evil 5 I always think about my friend's brother he was playing Resident Evil 5 for the first time and he was younger he was like 
11, 12, and he refused to jump down in that hole when the game started, and he literally stopped playing. He never played the game again because he was too scared to jump in that hole, even though I kept telling him, Resident Evil 5 is not scary, dude. It's just an action game, pretty much. But honestly, the action itself has a bit more suspense to it, given your limited uh, like camera movements, where things are still pretty tanky in Resident Evil 5, like they've always been in the Resident Evil series up until this point. It was in Resident Evil 6 where things really changed, where they... I think overextended when it comes to all the options and like mobility that you can do with your character like sliding and jumping and rolling. That was all unnecessary. Resident Evil 5 I honestly like more in terms of the movement even if it is tank controls because this was still Resident Evil to me at that point and I didn't really know anything other than that when it came to Resident Evil so it felt just fine. So we're finally about to play the big opening section where you pretty much take on the town and try to defeat everybody. And I'm going to see how things look in this spot because if the graphics dip anywhere or if there's any type of I don't know, hiccups or like frame rate issues. This is where they would be whenever there's a lot of enemies on screen. So I'll probably show you guys in post, but I did notice some pop in. I'll probably replay it over and over. I don't know if it's in the other versions, but I just noticed it in this version. So I did want to show that to you guys. There is a bit of pop in in the environments. I guess in more open areas like this, it'll, it'll be worse than others. But I can say with almost certainty that the Switch version does look a lot better than the Xbox 360 and PS3 versions. But it seems like it's a little finicky with how it runs. I don't really know what's happening, but every now and then things just look a little off. And they feel a bit off as well when it comes to the aiming and whatnot. But nothing that would render it unplayable or anything like that. It's still Resident Evil 5, and I'm not having any problems with it necessarily. I just noticed a few little hiccups here and there. Now this is a game I feel like there's a bit of revisionist history with, because back when it came out... Oh, wait. Guys, I just realized uh, there's trophies in this version. Well, not like trophies like PSN trophies, but there's achievements in-game. So I'm, I'm guessing you can see that in the menu. But yeah, an achievement just popped, and I'm guessing it's the same as the PS3 and Xbox 360 or Xbox One and PS4 trophies. I think they're actually about the same on all those platforms. I think I got that trophy for setting a bunch of guys on fire, but I'm not sure. But yeah, there is trophies in this game, so I think that's really cool. But anyway, this game I feel like has gotten a lot of flack over the years, but yes, it's a Resident Evil game, it's co-op, it's action oriented, but that doesn't mean it's not an, a great game. Like, I love this game, like honestly. This is one of the games I probably spent the most time with last gen, just because I kept replaying it over and over on harder difficulties, unlocking different guns, trying to play through as Chris and then Sheva, using Sheva's bow and arrow, which is a lot of fun. And while the story is campy and kind of stupid, it is entertaining overall. So yeah, I did a lot of jumping around in this video. I don't like doing super long Let's Plays where, I, where it's just quiet the whole time because I don't typically talk when I play games, so I'd rather just cut through the stuff where I am talking and just, just so I can tell you guys how I feel about this game. But yeah, this is Resident Evil 5. To me, it looks more like the PS4 and Xbox One versions, but honestly, I haven't played the Xbox 360 version in a few years now, so I'm honestly not sure how much of a step up it is. But on my big TV that I'm playing it on right now, I'm playing on a 55-inch 4K TV. It doesn't look ugly by any stretch. It looks just fine, very similar to the PS4 version, and I haven't had a lot of issues. Like I said, there, there's a weird little finicky stuff that I've noticed, but I don't know. This is still a demo. They probably could still be smoothing out the game a bit when it comes out uh, later this month actually so I'm assuming there might be a patch to just fix some of the little weird minor things like pop in that I experienced but overall if you've never played Resident Evil 5 I highly recommend this game I honestly think it's a must play on switch I think it's a great shooter and we don't get a lot of games like this on switch so definitely pick up Resident Evil 5 it's 30 bucks which is a bit high it's a it's a high asking price for an old game like this but you're getting a game that was once AAA portably which I don't know that that's that's pretty cool in my opinion but be sure to let me know what you guys think down in the comments section below are you going to be picking up Resident Evil 5 on Nintendo Switch? Because I think you should if you haven't played it. Definitely play this game. I'm serious. But don't expect a traditional Resident Evil experience because it's not scary. It is all about action. But the gameplay is very suspenseful, so you will probably be scared in some spots of the game. And there's DLC included, which actually is pretty scary. So definitely check it out, guys. The game's running great on Switch. Let me know what you think down in the comments section below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video, that thumbs down if you didn't, and as always, hit that subscribe button if you're interested, and maybe even that notifications bell if you're feeling generous. I'll talk to you guys later.